Instantaneous electric showers are still one of the most popular types of shower sold in the UK today, which is why Triton manufactures an extensive range to suit all tastes and budgets. An electric shower simply connects to a cold water supply and your mains electric, so it's versatile enough to suit any home no matter what your plumbing system. They're easy to install and they give you and your family instant hot water any time, day or night. So, what are the plumbing requirements you need to know before you can choose an electric shower? First of all, you need to check that your mains water pressure and flow to the shower meets the minimum required. Water pressure is measured in units, known as bars. One bar is approximately equal to a column of water 10 metres high. The water pressure required for an electric shower varies from one electric shower to another, depending on the manufacturer. Some require half a bar, while others require one bar or above. The minimum flow rate required to operate the shower efficiently also varies from one unit to another, and can be up to 10 litres per minute. The kilowatt rating of a shower also affects the water pressure and flow rates required. For more information on kilowatt ratings, take a look at our What is a Kilowatt Rating video. For guidance on water pressures and flow rates, contact your local water company or consult a competent plumber. If a water supply is adequate, you simply need to take a connection from a rising cold main supply and run a pipe to your shower. Fit an isolating valve into the pipe before the shower for future servicing. Depending on the model of shower, the pipe will enter through either the top, bottom, sides or back of the unit. Simply connect the incoming water supply to the inlet of the shower, making sure the connections are good and tight, so there is no risk of leaking. If the required water pressure and flow rate is not available from your mains water supply, then it's unlikely that the shower will work. However, this doesn't stop you getting the shower you want. You can always fit a separate pump in the water supply before the shower. In this case, the shower cannot be connected to the cold main supply, but to a cold water tank instead. Alternatively, you can choose an electric shower with a built-in pump, such as Triton's T90XR, which also connects to your cold water tank. For more information on this, take a look at our What is a Pumped Electric Shower video. The final thing to say is that all electric showers must be installed in accordance with all relevant water supply, electrical and building regulations. To find out what the electrical requirements are for the installation of an electric shower, why not take a look at our complimentary video, Electric Showers, Electrical Requirements.